our kites comes perfectly trimmed out of the bag ready to go. It doesn't matter if it's a racer or a screamer or judge or junior pro 4 or the new surf kite. They all come perfectly trimmed out of the bag. Uh, but then after probably 10 hours of session or let's say 20 days of kiting depending how much you kite then you're gonna have to do some readjustments because everything is gonna start to get stretched. The uh, bridles on the kite is gonna start to get stretched, the nuts are gonna start to get stretched. Uh, on the bar you're gonna have uh, the nuts on the deep power strap that links are gonna start getting stretched and pull so everything is gonna get stretched okay so you're gonna need to readjust uh, pretty much uh, the kite so you can trim it perfectly so if after like 10 hours of kiting your kite start back stalling which is going backwards all that that means the outside lines are too short and you need to make them longer how do you do this you make an extra nut as you can see here all our kites have only one nut uh, most companies use two nuts and the reason is they say more power here, less power here. This is not true. The reason they put two knots is because they know that after the first uh, 10 hours of kiting, everything is going to stretch. So then you're going to need to put it on the second knot, okay? But the reason we put only one knot on our kite is so we don't confuse people because beginners like, oh, which knot should I put? So this is the reason why we're putting only one knot. But then if you want to trim your kite and make it fly better, then all you have to do is make another knot. And this is the reason why we leave so much line. So you make another knot, 10 centimeters pretty much below that one okay this and then you can put your lines all set here okay and then you can remove this later on and do the same thing on the other side but this is how you'll be able to trim your kite now if you don't feel like making another knot moving this knot here and bring it here if you don't want to do that okay you can always go to the middle line the gray lines as you can see we have one and two knots okay they're already ready okay so uh, you can always do this from here you don't need to make another knot here go to the gray line since it's already ready so usually normally uh, when you set up your kite you use the first knot so you put this through the line here and you use this knot okay so after 10 to 20 hours if the kite start back stalling that means the lines got stretched then you need to move it to the second knot okay that's perfect right here you can also do the same thing by pulling the power strap okay on your bar but again um, this is also another way of uh, trimming your kite by using another knot here or making another knot here now if you use the second knot here okay and you go and fly your kite and everything's perfectly uh, set and then suddenly your kite is still back stalling that means those lines are still short very easy come here move this knot to another 10 centimeters so then you're going to use two knots okay by doing this you will make these outside lines the red and the blue one on the other side there longer so your kite can be trimmed properly now if your kite is up in the air and you see that the uh, there's no power in the kite and the outside lines which is the red line and blue line are quite slack uh, then you're going to need to again trim your kite okay and what you need to do this time is you need to move this knot right here okay and move it 10 centimeters up and make another knot further up right here okay so you have to measure and make 10 centimeters up right here and do the same thing on the blue line on the other side okay so by doing this you will make this line shorter and that will give power to the kite but again you have to balance it so you don't want those outside lines to be too tight or too slack also if you don't feel like making another knot further up to make these uh, lines uh, shorter and increase the power of the kite because the kite has no power you can always do this on the bar so you go to your bar and you move your red line to the second nut which is right here and do the same thing on the blue line and move it to the middle line which is the second nut okay and if still again there's not much power and the lines are still slack then move it to the other one the last one okay so again this is few different ways of trimming your kite on the bar or towards the kite